That's dad's car. He needs a car wash. What is going on? He dirty old stash stains. It is me. And once again, I'm gonna apologize for my last video full of tiny ass fish, but in my defense, at least I got some underwater eats. But anyway, we're gonna try to make up for that today. And we're going after very large fish. There's definitely potential at some 30 inch, 31 inch, 32 inch fish. And uh, they are whiskered kitty donks is I think the proper term for them. But I'm also going to go over how to locate catch and target catfish through the ice. It's uh, not the easiest thing to do and not a lot of people do it on purpose. It's just kind of a random thing, but we are going to uh, go out there and meet him. He's supposed to be getting bluegills as bait and uh, hopefully he was successful. We're not gonna use whole bluegills. We're just gonna use little pieces. But yeah, I'm gonna go over lures, bait, locations, maybe some jigging methods. Might be doing some underwater camera stuff. Not really sure, kind of going with the flow. Only got about an hour till it gets dark. So I'm gonna shut the hell up and uh, head on out and do what we got going but thank you for uh, clicking on this video and might actually learn a thing or two no promises but anyway come along with me let's do this all right well for catfish you don't need a whole lot got my vexilar got my heater just in case old dad doesn't have one a few rods bringing the ifish pro even though uh tip-ups haven't really been a factor for me for uh ice fishing for kitty cats. So you probably won't hear much about the iFish Pro again, but it could catch all the fish today for all I know. That's the good thing about fishing. Each day is different, and just when you think you know what the hell you're doing, you realize you have no clue, which is what happens to me about nine out of 10 times. Hi, I'm not pointing at you, this is my wave. Did you get a bluegill? That looks like there's a kitty on the bottom to me. It's probably a bait. No, I'm talking oh, yeah, about that flickering. It's pretty flickery yeah. spot for sure. It'll be out here in the channel. It'll be like straight hard bottom. Or if it's flickering like that, usually there's one there. All right, well, you're in the right depth. Yeah, we drilled a bunch of spots here. If we uh, hook one right here or in any of these clear patches, it'll look super cool. Yeah, I do got a fish on me. I told you. Let it sit there. Don't even move it. If anything, just tap it with your fingertip when it starts coming up. Wiggle my tip at it. Wiggle your tippy at it. All right, well, like I already said, you can pretty much use whatever the hell you want. I don't think it matters all that much, but it is getting close to being dark. So anything that has any sort of light doesn't hurt. I'm not sure if it makes that much of a difference, but they're definitely not scared of it. So this is what I always use. Flashbang from 13 Fishing. Even in the daylight, I don't really care what color it is most of the time, but in this instance, since it's about to be dark, color really, really does not matter at all because I can't see it. But snap swivel, I've been using those a lot lately too. I think they help. And if anything, you don't have to retie very much though. So. Chewing on the glow stick isn't necessarily recommended, but it is the most effective way to do it. And then we got a little tiny piece of crappie. Gonna hook it on one of the treble hooks. You don't want it to interfere with stuff too much. And uh, yeah, drop that down. And you don't really wanna move it too much. Like I was telling Ben, you just kinda wanna let it sit there. And if they come up to it and sit on it for a while, give it a couple little twitches, see if that'll make them commit. But a lot of the times they'll just swim up and grab it without you doing anything. So I'm all rigged up, got some holes drilled. I'm gonna bounce around, see if I can't find one of these dirty old long dongs. And uh, yeah. Keep you posted and stuff. Sounds like old dad over there. He's in 18 feet and he's marking them pretty consistently. They just won't commit, but that's just kind of part of it. Should probably clear my hole out, but I don't have a scoop, so we'll just pound it through. If it don't fit, make it fit. So yeah, I might need to find a little bit deeper water because he's been getting some pretty steady action there. And then we're gonna have to figure out the uh, best spot to set up a shack because uh, it's getting chilly and you really, really, really don't want to just set up anywhere you want to kind of strategically place it which should go without saying but it definitely definitely helps as far as catfish go all right stay tuned and stuff and things and more stuff and more things pretty sure i got a crappie chasing my piece of crappie got something Maybe. Man, I sure hope it's, it's alive. If it's a crappie, it's a damn giant. Yeah, you got a big old crap. I what is it? Wasn't it? Big. It's not huge. It wasn't big, big. What the hell is it? It's the bass. bass. <laughs> suspended. Dude, it was suspended like 10 feet off the bottom and 17 feet. What the heck? Well, this is supposed to be a catfish tutorial video, is what's going on in my channel, but that was that was weird. But yeah. 
First fish of the day, not a catfish obviously, but it's a uh, it's a start. And uh, kind of a shameless plug while I'm holding this fish or letting this fish go. I forgot to mention that, uh, mention again, I've already mentioned it once, that Stash Merch is back on. I'll link it in the description below. Really happy with the company I chose to go with. They're gonna treat me right. So almost all of the profits go to me. So it's kind of in the middle of the video and it's kind of random and kind of not shameless but I forgot to mention it, so I'm gonna mention it. And also comment down below if there's anything that you wanna see back on the website from the old website, and I'll try to make that happen. Anyway, first fish, still looking for kitties, but I need another piece of crappy, and then I guess we'll uh, go from there. I got a fish, Frankie. Hold on. I got a fish, Frankie. Oh, you're good. I got a walleye. Talking to my buddy Frankie on the phone. Say hi, Frankie. Hey. Frankie and I have made videos together. It's just been a while. What'd you catch? It's probably like six inches. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's about the size of your penis, so about five. <laughs> <laughs> Too much credit, bud. No, it's probably about, uh, I don't know, 10 inch walleye or something, maybe. Oh, hey, it's tough. Yep, no kitties yet, but I'm trying. I'll let you go, Billy. Nice. I'll uh, just call me in the morning. I can do that. Alrighty. All right. All right, peace. All right, well, I've been doing this for a long time, and all I've ever caught out here doing this is catfish. Go down, bud. And now I have a bass and a walleye. Really doing big things as far as this informational catfish video, but kind of brush pile right over there close to where the auger is, which I didn't even know existed. It's a good thing about fishing. You learn stuff almost every time. All right, keep plugging away. Keep you posted. One more or something. Got another walleye. Seems bigger. It is bigger. This one, this one's big. That ain't bad at all. Yeah, the other one was tiny. This is not bad though, no, that's not bad dude. That thing came. We're, you're fishing over there, you said. I'm gonna try this. <laughs> oh my gosh, that just made so much interference. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take yours out of there then all right we're gonna do this quick but walleye number two for me caught a bass no kitties yet we're gonna get it back before it freezes even though that is a 15 incher and i could eat it and i'm sorry for getting way too excited and calling it big but it's kind of big for me and around here and uh, i've fished this lake a lot over the years and i've never caught a walleye out of it ever now i've got two and a bass and this is supposed to be a kitty video so we'll get there eventually hopefully Sometimes if you're gonna catch some really big, beautiful catfish, you gotta weed through the nasty little piece of shit wall. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll figure out how to catch a catfish eventually and maybe teach you a thing or two about catching catfish. But clearly all we've found out so far is that walleyes and bass like to hang out in the same spots as kitties and they like eating flashbangs just as much. <laughs> with cut bait for all you uh northern people that fish for walleyes all the time if you really want the best spoon trailer kill a crappie and take a chunk of it and stick it on the bottom it's fire i got a walleye coming oh. there he goes away did you see him come back though mm -hmm. that was definitely a walleye two in a row i didn't jerk it off right Maybe I needed bluegill instead of crappie. Started ripping harder and he showed up pretty much instantly. I -O. Nope, he came out the bottom. Hmm. Might keep a couple of these bitches. If we can catch any more. That does look like a cat and it looks big. Don't move it too much. Twitch it. Come on, bud. That's definitely a kitty. Got it. No, it's a walleye. Is it a walleye? I believe so. He's in my deucer. I got like everything I own on my lap. Nice, dude. Yay! Hell yeah. I'm a pro. That's sweet, man. What is up with this? You said you never caught a walleye at this lake. Ever. That thing just showed up on and you. He was just like, oh, look, a piece of cut bait. He got it too, man. Yeah, dude, he choked it. Oh, you got oh. another one down there too. Don't mind me. Are we keeping these? Uh, I don't know. If I keep That's one or two more, I'll probably keep one. Okay, we'll, we'll keep him then. I think you got a stick down there too, Billy. Steak. Josh, if you don't get that out of my fucking hole, I'm gonna cast this through your ear. We can just share a hole. Two baits, one hole. Two girls, one cup. Good work, Billy. I'm proud of you Thanks for, for once. Thanks for telling me I had a fish on my screen. Yeah, you're welcome. During my mid-text. I almost deserve half of that fish. You can have the cheeks. The cheeks. 
shit happening down there. You got better looking stuff going on over there than I do. I'm getting ready to go outside. I just never do good in shacks, ever. I got things happening. Oh, I had him. Damn it. Walleye for sure. He's coming back. Got him. Hopped outside the shack for a second to search and Got one. Right outside. What do you got? I got a walleye that I think I'm gonna keep. Even though I said I'd never keep a uh, walleye in eastern Nebraska, he looks tasty and this video is so screwed up right now that it almost has to become a walleye catch and cook. He's not big, but he's not bad. This is the one I caught. Do we have a tape measure? That's 16 probably. I know, but. And we do have a tape measure. Let's just double check. You're right. Why do I doubt you? He's almost 18. That's like the perfect eater. This lake, they stocked a bunch of, what they call it? Advanced fingerlings. So there's a bunch of 10, 12 inches that they just stocked. This one might've been from last year and uh, he looks delicious. So uh, catfish tips has turned into walleye catch and cook somehow. I'd almost rather catch walleye than catfish. I've caught a lot of catfish in Nebraska through the ice. Right outside the shack. <laughs> why, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? All right, well. I really like keeping walleyes, but he looks good. You stay there, little friend. We got a big snowstorm coming, so that's why I came out and explored because I was getting nervous that we didn't have very much time. So exploring a little bit paid off. I can't believe it though. My all-time favorite catfish rig, chunk of crappie, flash bang, is catching walleyes. I guess a minnow head qualifies as cut bait, so I guess that's about the same. though. They'll break. The baby chickens, Pete will be pissed. Right, boo? They're already dead. They're already dead. They're just not born. Or are they dead? How does that work? Anyways. I don't know. All right, well, that uh, didn't really go as planned. I went out to uh, try to do an informational how to catch catfish video, and uh, yeah, we didn't catch any catfish. I gave you information on how to catch catfish, and I guess if there's walleyes in that same lake, then I guess you might catch some of both or something. Doing something a little bit different today. I got this new air fryer that uh, old Boo over here is gonna help me uh, figure out how to use because I'm uh, not really firing on all cylinders when it comes to technology and stuff. So do you think you can figure it out? I, I hope so. This lighting's horrible. Let's turn around. Do you think you I can figure so. it out? It's so much better. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, you still looked good, but it was dark. Don't lie to me. You looked like five shades darker. <laughs> anyway. But we're actually gonna put the walleyes in eggs, and then we're gonna use Cajun Shore Lunch, which is the best. Honestly, it's even better than the Frank's Red Hot. It's Boo's favorite, and uh, we got a little pepper dong. <laughs> we're gonna make us some uh, walleye tacos, and hopefully uh, the air fryer can actually cook stuff. I'm skeptical. It better though, because it was expensive. Anyway, stay tuned. That's what we're doing and stuff with Pow. Say pow. Pow. Aren't those like the biggest, dongiest green onions you've ever seen? Yeah. Organic AF. Yeah. My cooking channel sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're made for cooking channels. The peppers are little bastards though. Voila. All right, so what are we doing here? Did you read the instructions? Cause I didn't. I did. What is this, a GoWise USA? Here, your hand, hey, hey, oh, 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 there we go. GoWise USA air fryer seven quart. It says 400 for 10 minutes, so. Turn down the time. Turn up the tent. That seems pretty easy. I almost could have figured this out. I doubt it though. Sounds like a damn bathroom fan. What are those called? Dehumidifiers? Humidifiers? <laughs> what are they called? Bathroom fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jerk that egg. What? I mean, stir that egg. Farm fresh eggs. Farm fresh brand little turd eggs. Coming right up. Yippee. All right, well now we're gonna put uh, our walleye fillets and our egg, give them a nice little stir, and throw them in the Cajun Shore Lanche. 
launch, <laughs> shore launch, shore, shore launch. <laughs> How do you say it all French like? I have no idea. Shore launch. <laughs> Ew. Stringy. Poor baby chickens. They didn't even get a chance at life. Here comes the technical part. I don't, does that mean it's done? Or does that mean it's about to fly? What does that mean? <laughs> this thing is terrifying. It doesn't even look like it's on. Is it it automatically shuts off for security purposes so you can open it whenever. Security or safety? That'll stop. We're gonna do 15 minutes and halfway through we're gonna oil them, okay? Blast off. We can always take them out early if we need to. Mmm. Looks yeah. different. Looks edible though. All right, well, everything's done. Shout out to uh, old Boo for aiding in the process because I can't figure out any electronic on my own. But anyway, I'm gonna try one piece normal, but then we got our, our our air fried taco. We got green onion, red onion, ranch. We got uh, jalapeno lime guacamole. We got some lettuce, and we got some uh, cheese and some peppers. Should be pretty damn good. All right, I'm going in. Air fried walleye. Mm. It's definitely drier, as to be expected. It's kind of powdery. Sorry. But yeah, it's definitely drier than, uh... <sighs> <laughs> so noisy. You can sit by me if you want to. Or are you done with the camera? They haven't seen you for a while, boo. But yeah, it's kind of uh, drier. It's definitely more powdery. How do you say that? Powder, powderier? powderier. Anyway, it's drier for sure. You can definitely tell that there's no oil, but all in all, it's pretty good. I'd give it about a, uh, I don't know, eight out of 10. I haven't even tried mine yet. It's spicy. I haven't tried my taco either. Taco's gonna be fire. You could have put a turd in this taco and it would have tasted good. I remember that one time we made them? It was not good. Yeah, but that was like trout or something. Trout's gross. I'm never keeping a trout again. All right, dive it in. <laughs> See how fast I can eat this thing. The dryness is less noticeable in the taco. But holy shit, that pepper's hot. Ah. Ah. Here, eat one. Is this like a mukbang or something? Mukbang, I think. All I can see is your mustache, like. <laughs> <laughs> Spider. How was it? Did you even taste it? Pretty damn spicy, really. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up because it's gone on long enough. Probably too long, actually. It should have ended like two days ago when I started recording it. But yeah, couldn't really find the catfish and then it turned into uh, random walleye tacos. So I'm cool with it. <sighs> the uh, air fryer is gonna, or it's gonna take a little bit of work. I think overall it's a good idea. Do I uh, highly recommend it at this point? Probably not. But if you're into healthy shit and you want to be healthier, I guess the air fryer is for you. Like boo. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Definitely comment below if you want me to do a catfish tips and tricks video and actually be successful at it, because I'm going to keep trying anyway. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool getting on walleye. We don't really get on them very much around here, and uh, it actually happened, so it was almost a miracle. Thanks for watching. Say bye, boo. Bye, boo. No, say bye to them, boo. Bye, Boo. Boo says bye. Okay, bye.